Hey kids, how's everybody out there in YouTube land today? So, we've got pippage going on. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm. A place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily, let's go feed. Yes, we have. We have achieved pippage. So let me kind of show you what's going on here in the incubator. I have them all sort of isolated. Take the lid off. Set that over there. Okay. You can see here in this row, I've got five eggs isolated over there and one egg isolated over here. And these five eggs over here all have all have pippage. Now what is pippage? That's pippage. Can you see that? You see the crack in there? Am I too close? That's pippage. Okay. So these five eggs over here, these guys over here, they all have pippage. All of these guys here I just candled and they have movement inside. Now I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show this. But we're going to try, okay? There's my light that I use for candling. Let me just grab an egg here and see if we can see it. So if I put the egg on there, let me shut that off. If I put the egg on there, it blocks all light, okay? You don't see anything coming through. And if I move it around, you're not seeing anything. And then all of a sudden, it'll light up like that. See how it lit up? Now if I turn this slightly and rotate it in there, let me get this kind of sideways here for you. I can start seeing some movement inside. Now that's not a very good example. Let me see if I can find a better one. Well, stay there. Yeah, you see the little cloudy shape in there? See the little cloudy shape in there? It's moving. You see that? You can actually see the heart beating in it. Yeah, let me try to do another one. I want to clean one. There. See it moving in there? Can you see it moving in the egg? You can actually see the little baby duckling moving inside there. So what that means is all of these eggs, one, two, three, four, five, ten, 14, 15, 17, these 17 eggs all have something moving inside of them. <clears throat> so they're alive. These five eggs over here are actually pipping, which means in the next 12 to 24 hours, they should emerge and be baby ducklings. This one here, let me show you that one. This one here, nothing. See how you can see in there? Now there was something growing. You can see a little bit of something in that one. But not not anything like the others. This egg is 90% of the way not developing. So I'm going to leave it in here. And I'm going to check it again here in, uh, in a couple of days. And we'll see what it looks like in a couple of days. See how well it's coming along. But... Now I'm trying to do a time lapse in here. I've got my little GoPro session camera sitting down inside the incubator. It can take the heat and moisture. And I'm trying to do a time lapse of the eggs hatching, but it's a slow, slow process. So what I do is I film for, I don't know, about an hour, 45, 50 minutes or so. That's how much you can film at one time. Take it out, download the footage, recharge the battery, put it back in after everything's charged back up and then record for another 45 minutes or so. It's the only way I can really go about doing that. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> well, I hope you'll enjoy watching this short clip. This is, uh, 
sped up as fast as uh, I could do it for right now, sort of a try run. I reduced an entire day's worth of videotaping the duck eggs hatching and reduced it all down to what, a minute and a half here or so. A little fog there on the lens when it uh, uh, sprayed water in there. You can see the one egg rocket back and forth. Uh, these are the four, actually there's five eggs now that have pipped out and uh, starting to hatch. And um, they rock around back and forth a little bit, but you know what? Watching duck eggs hatch is about as boring as watching paint dry. <laughs> it really is. Um, there's very little activity. It can take anywhere from 12 to 24 hours from the time they start pipping until the time they actually hatch out. And so it's kind of slow, slow going. I do notice that the eggs will rock back and forth uh, quite a bit as they're moving around inside there. When I candled them, I noticed a lot of movement as well. So anyhow, I hope you enjoy watching this uh, quick time lapse of the eggs pipping out. We're making progress. Maybe tomorrow we'll have some baby ducks you guys for, to go look at. So at least I'm hoping. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about hatching eggs here on the homestead. It'll be cool. So anyhow, be good, be careful, take good care of one of the kids. We'll have more for you tomorrow. Bye. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug them mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in Zay mouth. I be a toad sucker knowing a duck it. Just find an old toad and you rare back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.